What is going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Rating My Subscriber Snowmobiles. It has been a fat minute since I put out an episode of Rating My Subscriber Snowmobiles. I'd say it's been well over a month since I've done this. You guys have been asking me every single day in the DMs, TikTok, everywhere. You guys have been asking me where is the next episode. And quite honestly, I just got lazy with it and wasn't filming these. I was just kind of just, I don't know, I got lazy with it. But we're back now. No more getting lazy. It's grind time. And we're going to be trying to crank out at least one episode of Rating My Subscriber Snowmobiles each week throughout the winter. Now to make that possible, I need your submissions of your sleds in order to make this video work. So if you have not yet gotten your sled rated by me, super simple to do. All you gotta do is head over to my Instagram. I'm gonna throw it up on the screen right here. Send me a DM with a picture of your sled and what's done to it. And make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel and your sled will be in the next episode of Rating My Subscriber Snowmobiles. If you guys have been keeping up with the channel, you guys would know that I am still currently sitting on right here my 2019 Pro RMK 850. And I'm sure a lot of you guys know I snow checked a 2022 Chaos Matrix Slash 155 850. And I am headed to the UP literally this week. So this is going out on Monday. You guys have seen this on Monday. Thursday morning, I will be on the road to the Upper Peninsula of Michigan to ride and film for four whole days. I was really hoping to have the chaos before I go there because like I've been dying to ride that sled. I've been dying to get the sled. Like I just I want the sled so bad. But I got literally three days for that sled to come in, and the odds of it coming in in three days are slim to none. So I will still probably be rocking the 19 Pro. No big deal. Still love the sled. Still gonna be fun. It would have been nice to have the new one, but I just don't foresee that happening within the next three days. So if you guys are gonna be in the Upper Peninsula of Michigan from Thursday to Monday, I leave Monday. So I'm going up Thursday, coming home Monday. If you guys are gonna be up there, Shoot me a DM. Let me know if you're going to be up there. I'd love to run into you guys, hang out with you guys, ride with you guys, whatever. I'll be everywhere from like Twin Lakes, Toivola, all the way up to Copper Harbor. I'll be riding the entire queue and off for the four or five days I'll be up there. So if you guys can be up there, go ahead and let me know in DMs, comments, whatever. With all that being said, let's get into the first sled of the day. First up, we got Brayden, and Brayden is coming in with a bang with the 2021 SKS 850-146 with a 2.5-inch track. And dude, first off the bat, I got to tell you this right now, the color scheme, you picked literally my favorite color scheme for that year. The 21s, the purple and the white is such a gorgeous color scheme. I'm a big fan of purple, big fan of white, and they just mix so well together on that sled. The SKS 850 is exactly what my dad has. He has a 19, and that sled is an absolute blast. It literally will do anything you want it to. It could wheelie, it could carve, it could play off trail, and it's also a very capable trail sled if you need it to be. Amazing choice of the sled, beautiful color scheme. I'm gonna give this one a nine. Next up, we got Mr. Alec, and Mr. Alec has for us a 2007 Players 550 Super Sport. And let me tell you about that Super Sport. So back when I was like riding, I was on the Yamaha Bravo for a long time, and I was looking to upgrade to something newer, something bigger, something more capable. The Super Sport was the sled I wanted. I always wanted a Super Sport. I thought it was such a cool sled, and it was it's a great beginner sled too. And that was like kind of one of the sleds I wanted. I never ended up getting it. I got like a 99 Indy CSP 500 instead. But your sled from just the pictures of the video you sent me alone looks in great shape. Looks like a blaster ride. I see you got a riser on there. I see you got studs on there. Clean sled, man. I Like I said, I always wanted one of those when I was younger. Awesome sled. I'm going to give you an 8 on that one. So we got Jaden. Jaden's coming in hot with a Pro RMK 850 in the blue and silver color scheme. Absolutely gorgeous color scheme. Jaden says he has a Jaws trail can on it, which we heard and sounds phenomenal. CFR bars and risers, monster finger throttle, and have an ITEK Industries bumper on the way. I can see in these pictures you had the aftermarket rear bumper with the tunnel supports on it, and I can see the bars and the riser in the picture. And I really, really like your handlebar and riser setup. Now on my sled, I've always ran stock bars, stock risers. But my new sled, when that comes in, like I've always, I'm like looking into switching on my handlebar setup. I want to get something aftermarket, something that just is a little bit better than stock. Dude, you have an absolutely beautiful sled. Sounds amazing. I'm going to give this one a nine. Next up we got Landon, and Landon has a 2000 SKS 700 136 with an MBRP race can, ODI bars, and power mat handguards. Dude, when you fired that sled up in the exhaust video, my jaw dropped. It sounded absolutely phenomenal, and yeah, it's a, it's a menacing sound, dude. That sled sounds incredible. 
color scheme on that sled's dope. It's I just love old school wedge body style sleds like these. I used to have one. I had like I said before the 99 NDX CSP, amazing sled. And it's kind of crazy to see like we were just looking at like a 2021 SKS and now we're looking at this 2000 SKS just to see the difference and the progression of sleds over the last 21 years is absolutely incredible and it's super sweet sled man i'm gonna go ahead and give this one a eight up next we got mr caleb coming in with the 2019 m8000 alpha 1 154 it says completely stocked besides cfr bars and a ggb quiet can't soon to be more now let's see you got a wrap on there too the wrap looks absolutely killer purple and lime my thing love that color scheme CFR bars look great, and I see the pink grips. I mess with the pink grips. I really, really like that. I think that's a sweet touch for that sled. Beautiful sled all around. I'm going to go ahead and give this one an 8.5. Next up, we got Mr. Jordan, and he says, I know you don't like cats, but here's mine. Dude, first of all, I got nothing against Articat. Anyone that rides Articat, like, I'll mess around with you. I'll joke about Articat, whatever. It's just not my sled of choice. My sled of choice has always been Polaris, and I'd say my runner-up would be Skidoo, but absolutely nothing against Articat. But his sled here looks like he's got a bunch of custom work in it. He says it is the 04 440 Snow Pro chassis, trail converted with an F7 700 with an SPM power valves, D&D full pipe can, Primary clutch, secondary is rebuilt, and top hand was also rebuilt with all suspension as well. Has SLP skis, A-arms, and skid was powder coated, and he installed the halo lights. Dude, this sled is an absolute badass build. Like, I can tell you put a lot of work in this. It's an extremely custom sled, and it is, the halos look sick on the front. I always like the old Snow Pros, man. Like I said, dude, I don't hate Articat. I just joke around about it. But I think the old Snow Pros are a sick looking chassis, and I think even to this day, it's still a very capable chassis for ditch banging, trail riding, and all the above. I still think it's a great chassis. And you've done an amazing job making this sled what it is today and taking it from an 04 440 to an F7 700. And you did an amazing job, bro. And I'm going to go ahead and give your sled an 8.5. So we got Donnie. Donnie has a 2019 Skidoo Renegade XRS 850. And he says everything is stock. But do from the picture, that sled is absolutely gorgeous. It looks to be in mint showroom condition. Super clean sled. Buddy down the street of mine just ordered or tried to, is trying to buy a new backcountry. So we'll see what I like of it. I'm going to definitely ride it and see what I think. I do want to give Skidoo a try. It's a super clean sled, man. I hope you enjoy it this season. I'm going to give your sled an 8.5. Next up, we got Morgan. Morgan for us has a 2011 Articat M8 Snow Pro 162. He said, love the videos, just sucks. People can't stand to watch someone else have fun. Midwest Mountain Sleds Unite. Yes, sir, Midwest Mountain Sleds. I have a Flatlander, and I love riding my mountain sled in Illinois. Um, so let's get on your sled. Your sled, first of all, sounds sick. You didn't tell me what exhaust it's running, but it sounds really sick. And I see you got some aftermarket vents on the side for more airflow. Looks like to be like you have a riser on there, potentially. And your tunnel, dude, we gotta talk about your tunnel. Holy hell, man, that thing is immaculate. I have no idea how you had the patience to sit there and polish that tunnel like that, but props to you because it looks damn good. Every time I've had a polished tunnel on a sled, I'd polish it once when I first get the sled, and that would be it because I don't have the patience to sit there and do that. It's like extremely annoying, but props to you for doing that. Your sled is super sick, super clean. I'm going to go ahead and give this one an eight and a half. That is going to be it for today's episode of Ready My Subscriber Snowmobiles. Those are all the sleds I've had in those DMs. So I have two Instagrams. I have my personal account, which is like, kind of what I've had since high school. And then the account that I want you guys to send the sleds to is for my social media. It's where like, if you want to reach out to me about something, send me your sled, whatever, ask me a question, send it there. Cause like my other Instagram, I don't even touch it. I don't use it whatsoever. This is the Instagram I use for everything. But I'm gonna throw it up on the screen one more time. If your sled got missed or you send it to my other Instagram for some reason, go ahead and resend it to this Instagram right here. This is the one that I'm most active on and we'll get you in another episode. Like I said, I'll be in the Upper Peninsula, Michigan this upcoming week. So if you guys are gonna be up there, let me know in the comments below, shoot me a DM, whatever. And with all that being said, if you guys like today's video, make sure to smash a huge thumbs up on the like button. Comment down below in today's video what your favorite sled was of today's video. And like I always say, if you guys are new here or you've been watching for a while and you're not already subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.